I have COVID again. <coughs> Kasi I have uh, nilagnat ako. Inubo, sipon, and everything. Masakit ang katawan and everything. But nonetheless, I have an obligation to discuss uh, this with you. Kasi in two weeks time, uh, uh, prelims, yun na. Okay, so pangit naman kung wala tayong na-discuss pulos. <coughs> Nature and form of contract of sale is the first uh, Part of our topic. Okay, under the law on sales, uh, ang legal basis niya is the civil code of the Philippines. So sa araw-araw na buhay natin, okay, <coughs> meron tayo, parte tayo ng isang sale, <coughs> sale transaction. Sa pagbili ng shampoo, ng notebook, ng laptop, sa pagbili online, sa Lazada, sa Shopee, Okay, that is, that actually <coughs> is a sale. Okay, that is a sale transaction. That's why it's very important <coughs> na matutunan nyo to, not just for your CPA board exams, importantly for your CPA board exams, but para aware kayo sa rights nyo as buyer and seller in case na meron kayong ibenta or gustong bilhin. Okay, dun yun siya magamit. <coughs> Okay, and and the uh, legal basis starts with Article 1458 of the Civil Code. It says there by the contract of sale. So ibig sabihin ang sale ay isang contract. Okay, one of the contracting parties, meaning the seller <coughs> or the vendor, obligates obligates himself to transfer and deliver a determinate thing. <coughs> and the other to pay, and the other meaning the other party, the buyer or the vendee to pay <coughs> there of <coughs> a price certain in money or it's Equivalent. <coughs> so, dyan sa first paragraph pa lang actually, madidiscuss mo na parang kalahatan na ng uh, parang kalahatan na ng contract of sale. Okay? So, very comprehensive ang first paragraph pa lang. Okay? When, sabi natin, by the contract of sale. So, ang isang sale isang sale transaction ay contract. And you've learned in your obligations and contracts that contracts have three elements. They are anyone? <coughs> Miss Chanel Bakay. Sir, eh, the three elements of contract, sir, is yung COC, sir, yung consent, object, and configuration po. Okay, so it's that consent, object, and <coughs> consideration. Now, if you relate these elements of the contract in a contract of sale, saan dyan ang consent, saan dyan ang object, saan dyan ang cost or consideration? Consent, sir, is yun yung meeting of the minds, yun yung uh, consent to transfer uh, ownership in exchange for the price, sir. Then yung object, sir, is uh, sa contract of sale, sir, is yun yung subject matter. And Sa, which is sir which is subject matter which is sabi mo kanina object is the subject matter that subject matter is <coughs> one two I have to count kasi maubos yung oras natin three Miss Chanel four Five, Miss Chanel. Oh, continue. Uh, anyone? <coughs> Sabi niya, object matter is the subject matter in a contract of sale, which is? Anyone? Sige, Miss, Miss Freda, kusipag. Sir, it is the determinating po. Okay. And <coughs> the last one? <coughs> 
na dis na sabi niya na yung consent yung object ano yung last miss Frida Sir consideration po it is the price po na kailangang bayaran ni vendi po o sky vendor para po ma ma deliver po yung determinate fee Okay okay thank you uh, <coughs> Miss Chanel okay ka na Ah oh, wala talaga <coughs> Okay Miss Frida ko si Pam Yes, possible. Uh, sabi niya kanina, magiging consent sa the agreement between uh, the parties, sabi niya. <clears throat> ano yung agreement na yun? Sir, when they obligate themselves po to, kapag gan po, mag nagkaroon po ng meeting of the minds between the buyer and seller in which they discuss po nila yung agreement ng contract of sale, yung, <coughs> yung object po ng, ng contract of sale and the consideration or the price. Okay, pag sinabi natin price, let's say for example, uh, there is a contract, there is, uh, you and I agreed to sell, I, I, I offered to sell my, my land, I offered to sell my land to you. Okay, so that okay. the land is the object, tama? Okay. Okay, you agreed <coughs> to buy it, but we haven't discussed about uh, whether uh, lump sum sa pabayaran or installment, whether uh, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, uh, is there a perfected contract of sale kahit mayroon lang land and price pero wala pa yung agreement as to the manner of payment? No, sir. Including <coughs> na po sa price or consideration, hindi lang po yung amount ang i-consider nyo, kundi pati yung manner of payment po. Without the manner of payment, it cannot be considered as a perfected contract of sale. Why? Sabi dito, and the other to pay their off, therefore, a price certain in money or its equivalent. Sabi Sir, um, hindi, hindi po enough na na-discuss nyo lang kung magkano yung amount ng, ng property na, is, na i, nakasali sa contract of sale. Dapat din ma-discuss po kung paano babayaran para po malaman kung malaman po kung kailan Ma, kailan na po mafulfill yung obligation? Therefore, kung hindi nyo na-discuss yun, walang? Perfected contract of sale po? No, walang. Before ka mag-consider. Walang consideration po? No. Ay, hindi po, hindi po na-meet yung three essential elements ng contract? Sabi mo kanina, walang agreement. O ano? Yes, so, pag walang agreement, walang? Walang contract. Ang sayang. Walang consent. May walang consent. Diba? Hindi nga sila nag-agree dun sa manner of payment. Kasi malay mo, although nag-agree sila sa object, sa price, pero <coughs> nag-disagree sila sa manner of payment, therefore, walang consent. Okay? Merong price. No question. Pero walang consent. Okay? Thank you for that, Miss. Uh, uh, Miss Chanel, nandiyan na ba? Wala pa. Tiyatakasan ako ah. Why? 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 Okay? Ang obligation. So, itong si seller at vendor, uh, para mas madaling uh, basahin, meron siyang obligation na i-transfer <coughs> at deliver yung uh, determining. Si buyer or vendor naman, is my obligation siya to pay a price, retain in money, or it's equivalent. Okay. Contract of sale may be absolute or conditional. Uh, where's an idea about this one? Channel, meron na? Wala pa rin. Miss Alisa Torida. Hello po, sir. Good afternoon po. Okay. Ay, good evening po. Yung ano po, sir, yun pong absolute po, there are no conditions attached po sa contract. Tapos pag conditional po, sir, is there are certain conditions po dun sa contract po, sir. Okay. Generally, that's the answer. Okay. To know... <coughs> Sige, naka okay. Sige. <coughs> that is that is the de definition of absolute and conditional contract of sale uh, in its general sense. So, punta tayo sa more specific one later. Okay? Under, sabi natin kanina, contract of sale is contract. Therefore, 
it has three elements, consent, object, and consideration. When it has consent, it is consensual contract, meaning it is perfected by mere consent. Okay, ang sabi natin kanina, we have discussed kanina, there is consent. Ah, okay, sige. Kala lang, Miss Alisa. Alisa. Yes, po, sir. When do we say that there is contract? Ay, where do we say that there is consent? Sir, pa sir pakiulit po, sir. When do we say na meron mo consent? Merong consent. Kapag po may meeting of minds po na yung dalawang parties po is nag-agree po sa lahat ng um, parang dun po sa object, dun po sa sa paano po siya babayaran. Object and ano po, um, <coughs> price. Ganun po. Okay. So that's it. And the manner of payment. Okay. Absence of one element negates Perfection. So, kung wala yung isa dito sa tatlo, hindi perfected ng contract of sale. Okay? Therefore, there is no juridical relation. Miss Chanel, nandiyan ka na? Wala pa. Miss, sino? Uh, what is a juridical relation? Anyone? What is a juridical relation? One pin to call again. Uh, Miss Jessica Caronan. You can volunteer. Raise your hand if you want. <coughs> Miss Jessica Caronan. <coughs> Wala. Jessica. King, if I call you and you're not answering or nag-leave kayo, mawala kayong justification. Kaya nito, nandito siya oh. Why kaya? So I need to be informed as to why. Okay? Oh, Miss Patricia. Hello po, sir. Audible po ba ako? Yes. Yung uh, voice sir, ikaw, ha? Po? Yung voice. Ah, sige. <laughs> sige. Yung juridical relation po is yung legal relation between person that is governed by a private law and it is a juridical necessity din po to give to do or not to do po in the poster thank you for saan galing itong juridical relation <coughs> sir sa obligation po sa obligation na nanggaling sa po sir sa contract po sir nanggaling sa contract okay it is by virtue of a contract that a juridical tie arises, okay, which binds <coughs> parties in a contract. Ang sabi nga natin sa obligon noon, uh, this, is, this is a law. Contract or obligations are a law between the parties themselves. Kung ano yun dun sa contract, yun ang mag -prepare. Okay. <coughs> Stages of a contract of sale, we have negotiation, perfection, and consummation. When we say negotiation, from the time one of the contracting parties indicate interest in the contract until perfection. Meaning, negotiation. <coughs> ano? Parang sa ordinary na buhay natin, pag sinasama niyo yung father, mother, kuya, ate niyo na bumili at nagkikipagtawaran sila sa palengke, ayan, negotiation yan. Diba? Mayroong seller, mayroong buyer. Si seller, nag-offer ng price. Si buyer, kung ayaw niya yung price, counter offer siya, tawaran mo naman, ganito na lang. Kung gusto ni seller, pwede niyang i-accept, pwede siyang mag-counter offer. Pwede rin i-accept na ni buyer hanggang sa ma-accept na. Kasi kapag na-accept na yung price, meron ng meeting of the minds. Okay, yan ang negotiation. At pag meron ng meeting of the minds, meron ng perfect shot. <coughs> yun yung second stage. Kapag kompleto na yung Elements of say, <coughs> which is there is consent, there is consent as to the object and the price, okay, which includes the manner of payment. And then the third one is <coughs> consummation, <coughs> Miss, <coughs> Miss Patricia, Miss Patricia Labau. Hello po, sir. It says here that it, 
under consummation, the parties perform their respective undertakings. What is these respective undertakings all about? Ano yan? <coughs> sir, sa pagkakaintindi ko po, sir, yung, yung obligation po siguro po nila. Which is? <coughs> Which is? One. Two, three, four, five. Miss Jessica. Wala talaga. Miss, Mr. Joe Marie Palaza. Good luck. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ano yung uh, respective undertakings ng both parties in a contract of sale? Ano po, sir? Ito po yung ano, yung obligation ng, ng seller and the and the buyer po, sir, which is the seller must be obliged or obliged to give the or transfer the ownership of the product or the determinating. Uh, while on the seller, on the seller, on the part of the buyer, naman po, sir, um, he has uh, obliged to give uh, to pay the price of the product, po, sir. Okay, so yun yung uh, respective undertaking sila. <coughs> Kapag nagawa yan, may extinguish yung contract of sale. So, dalawa yan, ha? transfer and deliver. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Is sale a mode of acquiring ownership, Mr. Joe Marie? No, no sir. No? Why? Sir, under sa nabasa ko po, sir, under Article 712 po, yung, dapat yung ownership and other rights is over property are acquired to transmit by law or any kind of by by denotation ganun po sir oh wala ba dun yung sale iba by law naman ang sale yes so yes it is a mode of acquiring ownership Mr. Joe Marie. One. Two. Di ka po alam, di ka po alam kung paano i-defend pa siya. Hmm. Kaya kita tinatanong. O, oh, eh, bigyan kita example. Ah, uh, benta ko sa'yo ng lupa. Okay. Nanig mo? Yes po, sir. A certain price. Okay. <coughs> Nag-agree tayo. So, there is meeting of the minds. Okay. Na perfect na. na therefore, perfected siya. Consumated siya. Tama? Nagkabayaran na. Nag-deliver ko sa'yo. Nagkabayaran. Tama? Yes, po, sir. Sino, sino ang may-ari na ngayon ng lupa? Ako, ikaw. Ako po, sir. Ikaw. Tama. True sale. Tama? Yes po, sir. True sale. Oh, Miss Chanel. <coughs> What's your opinion? <coughs> sir, sorry po. Nawalan po. Na, ayaw po nung mic ko kanina. Hmm. Sir, eh, dito sa so, yeah, sale is eh, a uh, mode of acquiring ownership. Sir, eh, for me, sir, is no. Kasi ang uh, meaning ng mode, sir, eh, ano, yung uh, ownership is created, transferred, and destroyed. And yung sale, sir, is parang nag-ano lang siya, sir. Eh, um, wala pang deliveries. Wala pang deliveries, uh, sir. Tapos siya, uh, saka lang siya, um, sa kanya lang maa-acquire ang ownership kapag na-deliver na, sir. Parang ang sale is parang binding effect. Binding effect pa lang siya ng between two parties, sir. Okay, so that is correct. I don't need to explain that because that is a perfectly explained uh, <coughs> sale <coughs> only creates an obligation on the seller to transfer and deliver the property. Yan lang ang ginagawa ng sale. It creates an obligation on the part of the seller to transfer and deliver. But it is the delivery that... Uh, 
transmits or transfers ownership from the buyer to the seller. <coughs> okay, it's the delivery. <coughs> Sabi dito, ownership and other rights over property excuse me, are acquired and transmitted by law, by donation, by testate and interstate succession in consequence of <coughs> certain contracts by tradition. When we say uh, law, if it is specifically given by law that uh, this contract will <coughs> transfer ownership. Sa sale kasi wala kang mahanap na ganyan. By donation, uh, when uh, when your parents donate the property to you, that's donation. When we say succession, dalawa yan, testate or intestate. When we say testate, there is a last will and testament executed by the person. Kung intestate, ibig sabihin, namatay siya, nawala siyang ginagawang last will and testament. Okay? In consequence of con certain contracts, <coughs> there are certain contracts <coughs> that, uh, that transfers ownership, which is related to number one by law <coughs> and by tradition. Uh, Miss, Miss, ano ito? Miss Chanel, saan dyan ang ano, delivery? Ni Chanel, nasa Angel ang delivery. <coughs> Sir, pardon po. Anong Sabi po kanina kasi, delivery, transfers ownership. Diba? Yung sabi mo, yung actually yung sagot mo. Ang tanong ko sa'yo ngayon, saan dyan sa enumeration na yan yung delivery? Wala? One, two, Sir, hindi po alam. Wala po. Mr. Jomari. Wala, Zab. Mr. Jomari. Saan dyan yung delivery? Wala. Miss Catherine Jane Ortiz. Um, yung yung law po. Law? Why law? Sabi ko kanina, walang <coughs> walang nagsasabi sa sales na magta-transfer yung ownership. So, hindi dapat law. Wala. One, two, three, four, five, Miss Lopez Ivy Jane. Lopez Ivy Jane. Okay. But di ka nagsasalita, guys. Uh, Miss Ma Antoinette. Sir, yung pag-deliver po nung nung ting yung mode po yeah kaya nga, yung delivery nga nasaan dito sa given na to yung delivery kasi diyan wala eh so yung ano by law po by donation or by test state hindi ah pili ka nga lang diyan sa isa yung nakabot pili ka lang diyan Okay, last. Uh, Miss May Angela Ricardo. Hello, sir. Hello. Um, yung po bang by tradition, sir? Oh, bakit by tradition? <coughs> by tradition po, kasi parang takop na po niya lahat, sir, including the lost donation, parang ganun po, sir. Of course, it, 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 it has its meaning. Bakit, bakit nandito si delivery? Wala kang maisip kapag sinabi mong tradition? Pag tradition po kasi parang custom na kasi yun, customary, sir. Like, um... Yeah, that's correct. 
So because this is the usual practice, even before nung wala pang law and sales, even before wala pang civil code, <coughs> ang kauna-unang panahon na wala pang sales na sinasabi, paano, paano sila nagbebenta, hindi pa ginagamit ang benta na word, is through delivery. Okay? Paano nagtatransfer ng ownership is through delivery. Okay? Kaya hindi siya under the law, donation, testate, succession, intestate, consequence of certain contracts, but by tradition. <coughs> okay? Known is the legal means by which ownership is created, transferred, and destroyed. Therefore, sale does not transfer or affect ownership the most that sale does is to create the obligation to transfer ownership. Diba sabi natin niya, the seller obligates himself to transfer and deliver. Yan yung nagagawa ng sale. <coughs> sale is only a title, sabi niya natin. It evidences that there is a transaction that happened that will allow for the transfer of ownership. It, title meaning it is a legal basis to affect ownership. It does not transfer ownership, but it may affect ownership. Okay? <coughs> Kinds of contract of sale, as we have discussed earlier, absolute and conditional. <coughs> when we talk about conditional, usually sa, sa pagbenta ng lupa, okay, so, ang ginagamit actually is contract to sell. Hindi contract of sale, ah. Itong dalawa na to magkaiba. Okay? Contract to sell and contract of sale. Ang ginagamit usually is contract to sell. Why? Ang contract to sell is where the seller promises to sell. Take nota, the seller promises to sell a certain property for a certain amount to a buyer upon full payment of the purchase price. Ngayon, Pag na-execute yan at binigay na yung property kay buyer, si seller, he retains ownership. Siya pa rin ang may-ari nung property kahit pa na kay buyer na yung property. Okay? Kapag nabayaran na yung full payment ng price, mag execute sila ngayon ng si seller at si buyer mag execute ngayon ng tinatawag nating contract of sale or absolute. Contract or deed of sale. Okay? So, dalawang contracts kapag <coughs> contract to sell. Okay? Contract to sell is not a contract of sale. Okay? In contract to sell, the seller only promises to sell certain property to the buyer. The seller retains ownership and it is only upon full payment of the purchase price that a contract of sale or a deed of absolute sale may be executed. Doon lang magkakaroon ng contract of Say, Okay? I hope that's clear. Essential elements of contract of sale, as sabi natin kanina, contract of sale is a contract. Therefore, it has the same elements. We talk about consent, we discussed natin kanina, it is the meeting of the minds of the parties as to the object and the price. Okay? There is also the offer and acceptance, the negotiation stage, and acceptance... <coughs> may be manifested through hindi na lang siya laging verbal kasi okay pwedeng it can be manifested to payment of purchase price pag binayaran mo na of course parang inclined na yan or implied na yan na na merong contract of sale pag declare na yung property for taxation purposes then there is already a perfected contract of sale kapag binayaran niya na yung real estate tax yung property okay <coughs> That implies that there's already a contract of sale. Okay? So those are the implied acceptance. Okay? Kapag vitiated ang consent, the sale may be annulled, nullified <coughs> under specific uh, circumstances. Okay? <coughs> and then, to the object, sabi natin kanina, determinate. Oh, a Mr. Mel. I mean, Ricardo. Yes, po, sir. Uh, for example, meron akong limang sasakyan. Ibibenta ko sa'yo yung isa. Is that a determinate thing? 
Um, I think no, sir. Why? Because when we talk about the terminator, it is particular and parang unique po, sir. Okay. So, so ay, sige lang po, sir. Continue, continue. So, kapag magbebenta po, po kayo sa akin ng sasakyan without the model or any specifications po ng car, it is not determinate po, sir. Correct. Okay. <coughs> when you say determinate, must be particularly designated, physically segregated from all others of the same class. Even if quantity is not determinate, as long as it can be determined without a new contract. Last, Miss May. Yes po, sir. For example, I have a bodega. I have only one bodega in the entire Philippines. Okay? Dun sa bodega na yun, um, meron akong sacks of rice. <coughs> okay? Hindi ko alam kung magkano. Ay, hindi ko alam kung ilan yung sacks of rice na yun. Basta meron ako nun. Now, I said na ibibenta ko yung laman ng bodega ko na sacks of rice sa iyo. Okay? Benta ko siya sa iyo. Is that, is that subject matter or object determinate? Sabi niyo po kanina, Sir S, di niyo po alam kung ilan po. Yun, di ba? Uh -huh. So, pag sinabi kasi natin na, na hindi natin alam yung quantity po, tapos hindi natin alam kung anong kasing rice, hindi po siya determinate, Sir? Kasi I think first, <laughs> Dalawa lang po kasi yung pwede nating isipin, sir. It cannot be determined. However, as long as we can determine po kung ilan yung quantity, parang ganun po ba, sir? Anyone? Sino doon sa mga tao? Cheska? Katrin? Ay. Katrin ba to? Jane? Sir? Sino yan? Katrin po. Ulit nga po ng question. Miss May, can you ano? Repeat the question to Miss. Ano? Miss Katrin. Um, may bodega po si Sir Dao. Tapos yung bodega po yon is may rice po. Tapos hindi po alam at the yung quantity. So is that parang an object po or subject matter? Um, uh, is isa siyang object or subject matter pero hindi po siya determinate. So, parehas kayo ng answer, hindi siya determinate. Apo. Miss Lopez. Miss Ma Antonette. Sir, I think determinate po siya since ang sabi niya po is <coughs> ano sir, um, kahit hindi po ma-determine yung quantity so long as hindi po nakakapag-create ng new contract yung uh, parang yung ano po, yung parang sa may obligation po, hindi po siya nakakapag-create ng new contract. Determinate pa rin po yun. Okay. How do you determine then? Paano mo din siya i-determine nang hindi ka nagkakreate ng bagong contract under that example? Sir, um, ano po, Kapag po sir um kunya eh sir dun po sa pag kunya rin po is is kaya pa parang kaya pa po siyang um ma-deliver hindi scenario hindi scenario na nasa bodega yung sa Axofries paano mo siya i-determine Use the facts, okay? Use the facts of the case. Okay? Ma-determine mo siya, basta lahat ng nasa bodega, yun yung object ng sale. Okay? Pero dapat uh, for a reasonable price. Pero sa kala natin yan, uh, i-discuss, basta ang, ang issue lang is whether determinate or hindi, that is determinate. As long as you can determine. And how can you determine? Lahat ng nasa bodega, yun yung nabenta o yun yung bibilhin. Okay? <coughs> For the price, uh, o oh, Miss Mantonet, ikaw na rin. Yes, po, sir. 
Uh, say for example, pupunta ka sa Rob, sa SM, or nag-shopping ka online sa Shopee, sa Lazada, we notice that there is already prices, di ba, the products. Ang sabi dito, price can never be left to the decision of only one party. If ganyan ang, ang sinabi dyan, di dapat, hindi pwede yung ginagawa ng nasa Rob, nasa Lazada. Yes, sir. Um, For me po, yung nakalagay din po dito, parang kapag sa mall po kasi ino-offer na po nila na na ito na po yung price ng product. So nasa sa atin na po yun kung i-accept po natin yung yung price na in-offer nila sa atin po. If in-accept po natin yun, perfected na po yung sale. Okay, that is correct. Okay. But, <coughs> reminder, uh, pagsasagot kayo, hindi naman ito law school kasi. Pero pag law school to, pag sinabing for me, or in my opinion, sasabihin sa'yo ng prof mo, I don't care about your opinion. Okay? Pero hindi naman tayo law school. <clears throat> Pero uh, I suggest, wag mo nang ilagay yung for me, or wag na kayo maglagay ng in my opinion. Sabihin niya na lang, tinatanong niya kung <coughs> kung pwede ba yung uh, yung transaction na ganun. Ang sagot mo lang, either yes or no. Diretsyoin mo na. Okay? Huwag na kayong maglagay ng for me, huwag na ng uh, in my opinion, or according to my opinion. Because basically, you have, you have the right to your opinion. I cannot do anything about that. Diba? Pero ang tanong is, what is the answer? Give the correct answer. But nonetheless, that is correct. That is a correct answer. Thank you for that, Miss Malilin. Ang sabi natin kanina, kasama sa price is yung manner of payment. Okay? Lagi yan. <laughs> okay. And then, sa simulated price naman, simulated or fictitious. Meaning, wala talagang price. Let's say, for example, your father executed a contract of sale. Ikaw yung buyer, siya yung seller. Ikaw na anak yung buyer. Okay. Dun sa contract of sale, merong nakalagay dun na price, let's say 1 million. But in reality, walang price talaga. Parang binigay niya lang sa yung property. That is a case of a simulated price. Therefore, <coughs> that that contract of sale can be annulled or nullified. Okay? I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well talaga. Parang feeling ko may COVID ako. <laughs> contract to sell is not contract of sale as what I've said kanina. Diba? Under contract to sell, <coughs> the seller promises to sell to the buyer uh, for a specific price, purchase price. Okay? And shall only be sold upon payment of this purchase price. <coughs> when this purchase price have been uh, fully paid, the seller and the buyer will execute what we call a contract of sale or a deed of absolute sale. Okay? And that is what we call your contract of sale. Kasi, under the contract to sell, the seller retains the ownership. Kahit i-deliver niya yung property kay buyer, he still retains the ownership. Okay? Why? Because it lacks consent. Hindi naman siya nag-agree. Ang sabi niya lang, promise ko sa'yo, babayaran, bay, i-deliver ko sa'yo yung property kapag nabayaran mo sa akin yan ng buo. Kapag hindi nabayaran ng buo, hindi tuloy ang contract to sell. Okay? Seller does not yet agree to sell. Oh. So there is no meeting of the minds here because it lacks consent. Until the opening of an event, which is the full payment of purchase price. The seller only promises to sell, as I have said earlier, and retains ownership. Okay? Gross inadequacy of price. Ang gross inadequacy, <coughs> yan yung, let's say, for example, you have a car worth 900,000. Fair, fair market value. Ah. So that's how it is being sold on, on the market. And then, uh, 400K, mo siya 
binenta. So selling price niya is 400k. <coughs> so, the, <coughs> so the price <coughs> so, pro, so the price differential is too big. Therefore it's grossly inadequate. Okay? But under this rule, okay, under the gross inadequacy of price, there are two instances. <coughs> First is the ordinary sale and the second then is execution sale. Ordinary sale mga tayo. Ito yung normal na sale transaction. May bumili, may nagbenta. Yun yung ordinary sale. It may be invalidated kung ganyan, gross inadequate. Or if such inadequacy shocks one conscience. Why? Because <coughs> mas malaki pa yung namura ng buyer kaysa dun sa <coughs> dun sa nawala no seller. Kaya ang ang pwedeng mangyari kasi diyan guys, bakit pwede siyang invalidate? Baka kasi pinilit. Balik ka sa vitiated consent. Baka pinilit na ibenta, baka niloko. Diba ang sinabi ganito pero ganito lang nakalagay sa kontrata, baka niloko. Kaya pwede siyang ma-invalidate. Okay? But for <coughs> an execution sale it will remain to be valid. Sir, bakit? Ano bang difference ng execution sale sa ordinary sale? Ang execution sale kasi, or public auction, or foreclosure sale, alam niyo yung uh, nagbibenta ng mga properties, tapos nagbibiding, uh, ganun, ganun siya. Okay? <coughs> ganun siya binibenta. This is due to the fact that in execution sale, there is a right to redemption on the part of the judgment debtor. But may judgment debtor. Okay? When we say <coughs> execution sale, merong naunang contract dyan. Ibig sabihin, merong debtor at creditor. Ngayon, si debtor, meron siyang utang kay creditor. Okay? Sabi mo ng 1M. Ngayon, hindi niya nabayaran itong utang niya kay creditor. Ang ginawa ni creditor, Pinor close na yung uh, dun sa uh, uh, credit transaction minor <coughs> gauge na yung uh, let's say for example lupa niya. Okay? Since hindi na makabayad si debtor ang ginawa ni creditor Pinor close na yung property which is yung lupa. Kapag sinabing Pinor close, you offer siya for foreclosure sale or public auction. Dun siya ibibenta. Okay? Ngayon, itong si judgment debtor or itong si debtor, meron siyang right na maredeem itong property. Paano? Kasi kapag, let's say, for example, that property is sold uh, in the foreclosure sale at an amount of 400,000. Therefore, uh, valid yan, sale. Okay? Si judgment debtor, okay, can buy back, yun yung right of redemption. He can buy back the property. Whether within one month or one year, you can buy back the property at the same price. So it will benefit the debtor. Kasi makukuha niya yung property niya na at a lesser price. Hence, no loss on the judgment debtor but rather again from the low value sale. Okay, that's why uh, execution sale, despite gross inadequacy of price, the sale will remain valid. Okay? Characteristics of contract of sale, sabi natin kanya, there is consent. Therefore, <coughs> it is consensual, meaning upon the meeting of the minds, there is already a perfected contract of sale. When we say bilateral, by meaning two parties, meaning two parties are bound or are obligated towards each other. The seller, transfer and deliver, and then the buyer to pay. <coughs> Onerous or valuable consideration, burden sum, meaning whether price is certain in money or it's equivalent. Commutative thing naman is there is an exchange of a thing of value or for equal value. When we say nominate, sabi niyang nominate yan because the civil code or the law gives it a special name. Ang special name niya is contract of sale. It is a principal contract din kasi it can stand on its own and it is independent. So hindi siya nakadepend sa ibang contract uh, but rather, uh, it is an independent contract. Okay, problem. Uh, <coughs> Miss Catherine? Sir? Oh, can you read the problem? Anjan, 
On January 19, 1985, A, B, and C executed a document entitled Receipt of Down Payment in Favor of R, which is reproduced here under. Um, receipt of Down Payment, 1,240,000 pesos total amount and 50,000 pesos the down payment. The balance is one million and one hundred ninety thousand pesos received from Miss R the sum of fifty thousand pesos purchase price of our inherited house and lot in the total amount of one million and two hundred forty thousand pesos. We bind ourselves to effect the transfer in our names from our deceased father. The transfer certificate of title immediately upon receipt of the down payment above stated. On our presentation of the TCT already in our name, we will immediately execute the deed of absolute sale of said property and Miss R shall immediately pay the balance of the 1,190,000 pesos. January 15, 1985. Q, mother of R, paid the down payment. February 6, 1985, the property was transferred in their names. February 18, 1985, ABC sold the property to Y. For this reason, A, B, and C canceled the contract with R and deposited the down payment in the bank account of Q in trust for R. February 22, 1985, Q filed a complaint for a specific performance. Question, is the receipt of down payment a, perf a perfected contract of sale? Is it a perfected contract of sale? Ms. <laughs> Catherine, uh, um, is it a perfected contract of sale? <laughs> Yes, Pa. Why? Um, kasi po, uh, may na may na transfer na po yung title. Ay. Kasi na transfer na yung title. So na may consummation of. Hindi nga siya na transfer kasi kinansel niya. Ay, hindi pa pala kinansel. <laughs> Sabi niya dito, kinansel niya yung contract niya, binenta niya sa iba. Oh. Um, <coughs> the property. Miss ano, Lopez. Wala pa lang si Lopez. Jessica. Wala pa rin. Oh, but eight lang kayo. Hmm. Take note, ah, this, this will form part of your grade kasi major subject ito. Miss Catherine, ikaw na lang. Sige. Pa. Ang sa'yo, ang sagot mo. Um, um, is the receipt of down payment of perfected contracts? Um, opo, kasi... Um, na nung yung receipt of down payment po uh, na sign na ni A, B, and C and nagkaroon na po ng agreement or may acceptance na po dun sa dun sa contract of sale. Okay. Thank you for that, Miss ano, Catherine. <coughs> that, that is another way of answering this answer. So dito kasi under this problem, you can answer it you can use a uh, legal basis that you want as long as tama. Ang sabi niya, since meron ng down payment, meron ng uh, perfected contract of sale, which is true. Diba? This down payment uh, is what we call earnest money. Okay? And it forms part of the purchase price. But looking at the problem, mas maganda kung, kung ang tanong is there... <coughs> Is there a perfected contract of sale? Para medyo ma maayos ang sagot niyo. 
perfected contact of sale. Mag-isip kayo ngayon. Kailan ba na perfect ang contact of sale? Kapag may meeting of the minds. Kapag may meeting of the minds sa object, <coughs> price, and the manner of payment. Dito, may object. Ayan. Inherited house and lot. Merong 1.2 million <coughs> pesos na price. In fact, 50,000 has already been paid as a down payment. So therefore, uh, using these simple facts will uh, will already render your answer correct. And reading more the contract, sabi niya, we bind ourselves, A, B, C. We bind ourselves to effect the transfer in our names from our deceased father, the TCT, immediately upon receipt of the down payment of the above stated. In a down payment na siya. Ibig sabihin, bound na sila ABC na i-transfer yung TCP. Okay? So, thank you for that, Miss Catherine. So, I offer chances if you were not able to answer. <coughs> Saka lang kayo magkakawala ng chance kung nag-absent or nag-leave kayo. So, kung mag-leave kayo, siguro dapat may reason, may justification. Hindi naman ako strict as long as may reason kayo kasi paproblemahin ko din later on uh, ako anong ilalagay ko sa <coughs> grade sheet nyo. When the receipt of down payment was paid to and signed by ANBNC, the party said agreed to a conditional contract of sale consummation which is on, subject only to the successful transfer of TCT from the name ABC father to their names. <coughs> okay. Under the options or option contract, yeah. Uh, kung ano, minsan-minsan lang kayo tayo text din chat. Baka option lang kayo. Baka meron siyang option 1, option 2, option 3 pag nag-away kayo, doon siya kay option 2. Pag nag-away pa sila, doon siya kay option 3. Baka ganun. Pero hindi ganun ang discussion natin, okay? Hindi ganun. Ang option contract <coughs> Or, ang tawag nila dyan, either option contract or option money. Okay? Ang option ay isang contract. So, dapat dyan, tumatakbo na ulit yung isip nyo. Contract. Ibig sabihin, consent, object, consideration. Tama? By which an owner of property, so yung may-ari, agrees with another person, so dalawang tao, that he shall have the right to buy his property at a fixed price within a certain time. So, under the uh, under the uh, term contract, anyone, may pumasok ba? O kumukunti ang tao, ah. Should I report this one? Kasi the, <coughs> nasa 40 plus kayo or 50 plus. <coughs> anyone who can answer me? This is equivalent to boycott. Because majority of the class is not present. In fact, I started the class kahit madaming absent, di ba? Bakit kaya anyone who can speak for the class? <coughs> I don't want to judge naman agad. Pero ang sakin lang, bakit kaya? Sir, some of my classmates po nag-message po sila sa akin na wala po silang kuryente sa... Ano po? Sa bayan po nila, sir? So, paano siya naka-message sa'yo? Sir, um, baka naka-free data lang po sila. Mm, lahat sila? So, 40 plus of them? No, sir. Yung mga na-mention ko lang po dito, sir, yun po yung nag-message siya sa akin. Did you send it? You send it in my messenger? Not yet po, sir. Send mo na lang? Sige po, sir. <coughs> Kasi, as much as sabi ko sa inyo, di ba, gusto ko ipasa kayo lahat. Oh, tulungan niya din ako. Ayaw ko naman na magpabrikita ko ng grade. And then later on, pag mababa, you question me. Oh, Nag-input na ako ng grade sa inyo. And then you will question me. Okay? Anyway, there is an attendance being sent to my email every after class. So, meron akong basis actually. Ayaw kong mag-report. Last SEM, wala akong report plus. Please attend naman. Kahit majority lang. If my class is around 20 or 21, 
I can tolerate this one kasi 7 na kayo. Okay lang sa akin. Pero 40 plus ata kayo eh. Madami. Okay? <coughs> so, <ang> option contract. <coughs> I will not uh, I will not uh, call anyone anymore para matapos natin. Except if si Cheska at si Lopez is gustong mag-recite, they can raise their hand. Okay? Kapag option contract, uh, <coughs> si would-be buyer would be buyer ay hindi pa siya buyer. Nag oh, nag ask siya kay would be seller. Hindi pa siya seller ah. Na oy seller. <coughs> Pwede bang uh, bigyan mo ako ng 10 days para pag-isipan ko kung bibilin ko ito. Bigyan kita ng 5,000. Okay, once the would be seller accepted that <coughs> 5k, there is now what we called an option contract. Okay? The, <clears throat> there is consent because in accept na as to the object. The object here is the privilege. Ah. This is the right to buy within a certain time. Yan ang object dyan. Okay? Ang cost is yung <coughs> 5G. Now, kung walang pera na binigay, the seller can sell anytime kahit within 10 days. Okay? Kung walang pera na binigay. Because the seller is not bound by that agreement alone. Okay? Pero kung may binigay kahit 1K lang, the seller is bound. Okay? Kung, kung pagdating ng 10 days or at the 10th day, ayaw na ni buyer na bilhin, that's okay. <coughs> Kasi ang, ang contract is about right to buy or privilege to buy within 10 days. Ibig sabihin, hindi niya i-offer sa iba within 10 days. Kung at the 10th day, ayaw, ayaw na on the 10th day, uh, ayaw na bilhin na ni buyer, then it's okay. Uh, the seller cannot compel the buyer to <coughs> buy the property. Okay? Kung nag naman na yung 10 days at walang bumibili, pero ayaw ibenta ni seller kay buyer, can buyer compel the seller? No, we cannot. Because there is no contract. Okay? And the option contract already lapsed. Okay, an option contract <coughs> is not a purchase but merely secures a privilege to buy. Meaning, ito lang yung right mo to buy within a certain time. Privilege lang. Option contract is also called an accepted offer. Okay? Ayan siya. So, under the option contract, <coughs> this is a separate contract. Option is separate from the contract of sale. Iba siya. Magkaiba sila na contract. Okay? Earnest money. Okay? When we talk about earnest money, I've discussed kanina. Earnest money, this is given by the buyer to the seller to bind the bargain. Constitute as an advance payment. Diba yung sagot ni Miss Christine kanina? And deducted from the... Since it is an advance payment, it is deducted from the Purchase price and it is the proof of the perfection of the contract. But ka magda down kung, kung wala pang perfected contract, di ba? That's common sense actually. Okay, you can answer law questions that are reasonable. Okay, just be reasonable. Okay, just be reasonable. Kaya, kaya nyo pinag-aaralan yung batas uh, to know when it is reasonable or not. Okay, under this case, Meron ng down payment eh. Eh di ba ang down payment eh, part ng purchase price? Eh dapat perfected na yan. O di ba? That is simple logic. Simple uh, uh, simple reasonableness. Okay? It is also called an aras. Okay? It shows the, in <coughs> the intention of the buyer to buy <coughs> the property. Di ba? Nagbigay niya siya ng pera eh. <coughs> And yung down payment na yan is usually 20%. That's big. If it's 1 million, it's 200. That's big. Okay? The difference, when we talk about earnest money, it's part of the purchase price, tama? And option money, it's different from the purchase price because it is a distinct contract. Okay? Earnest money, given only, or given only when there is a sale. So when the sale is perfected. Okay? It applies... When option money, it applies to a sale not yet perfected. So, wala pang contract of sale. 
Dito sa kabila, meron na. Okay? The third one is buyer is bound to pay. Why? Because you already paid the advance payment. Therefore, you are bound to pay the balance. Then, the would-be buyer is not required to pay. Why? Because the option contract involves only the right to buy or the privilege to buy. Okay? Second to the last. Contract for a piece of work. Bakit ko tadi ni discuss because uh, there are uh, problems wherein you can be <coughs> uh, dagdagan ba kayo? I mean uh, cringing. Okay, so. Yamina, pagula yan. Are you there? Yes, sir. Naririnig po ba ako, sir? Nakadata lang po kasi ako. Yes, naririnig naman. Okay pa, sir. Oo. When we talk about, <coughs> sabi kasi sa contract of piece of work, magiging contract of piece of work siya kapag yung thing, yung determinate thing, is one not in existence, ibig sabihin, it does not exist. And would never have existed. Ibig sabihin, hindi mag-e-exist. Kung di dahil sa order no person deciding it. Okay? Contract of piece of work daw siya. Okay? Ngayon, I, I have a problem for you. I am a manufacturer of furnitures. Ang main na product ko is tables. Okay? Can you follow me? Yes, pa, sir. I have a product list for all the tables that I offer in the market. So, meron akong product list. Doon ka pipili. Okay? Ikaw yan, si Amina. Okay? Ngayon, may napili ka dito sa product list, kaso lang, walang stock, gagawin ko pa siya. Question, is that contract a contract for a piece of work or labor or contract of sale? Sir, sa tingin ko po, sir, is contract of sale pa rin. Ay, sir, contract of sale pa rin po siya kasi part pa rin po siya nung mga minamanufacture yung table po, sir. And out of stock lang po siya, sir. So still po, sir, is part pa rin po siya ng ordinary course, ordinary course of your business po, sir. Paano kung uh, wala dito yung napili mo? Instead, nagbigay ka ng specifications mo ng table, ng design, ng layout, kung paano siya. Is, the, <coughs> is this one a contract of piece of work? That, if that's the case po, sir, yes po, it's a contract for a piece of work po, sir, kasi hindi na po siya part ng ordinary course of your business po, sir, ay binigay na po na specifications or or, or certain quality po yung, yung buyer po, sir. Yes, that's correct. Okay? Tandaan nyo, kapag yung thing not in existence, ibig sabihin wala, hindi siya nag exist Or would have never existed. <coughs> kasi kung offered na siya, Ngayon sa market, kasama na sa product list, nilagay nyo na sa Shopee, sa Lazada, that thing exists, only wala lang stock. Okay, kaya siya contract of sale pa rin. Pero kung ganito, na nag-specify ka, <coughs> this one is a contract for a piece of work. Thank you for that, Miss Yamina. Okay, under this one, ito, can, can you read and answer? <coughs> Determine if this is a contract for a piece of work or sale. Ako po, sir? Yes. X and Y stipulated in their contract that Y would manufacture upon order of X of 20,000 of vinyl frogs and 20,000 pieces of vinyl moose heads according to the sample specified and approved by X. Y do not ordinarily manufacture these products but only upon order of X at the price, at, at the price agreed upon. Sir, for, I, sir, a contract for a piece of work po because it's stated in the situation that why do not ordinarily manufacture this? It means that it is not part of the ordinary course of business of Expo. Okay, that's correct. And in addition to that, the samples or the product samples came from X. Okay, it came from X. <coughs> okay, thank you for that, Ms. Yamina. And then the last one, Sorry. the shown in Pago or the shown in payment. Okay? We're in the debtor. So, pag may debtor, hmm, merong uh, credit transaction. Merong debtor, tsaka merong 
creditor offers another thing. So, mayroong thing na involved to the creditor. Ayan, creditor. Who accepts it as equivalent of payment of an outstanding debt. So, in a problem, let's say, for example, uh, debtor has an outstanding debt of 10,000 to si creditor. Okay? Ngayon, si debtor hindi na makabayad. Wala siyang cash. Sabi niya kay creditor, uh, creditor, you offer ko na lang itong cellphone ko, which is more or less uh, 12,000. <coughs> which is more or less 12,000. As, <coughs> as, <pay> <coughs> as, pay <coughs> as payment ko sa utang niyo. Ay, sa utang ko. Okay? So, if creditor accepts this uh, kind of transaction, then the debt will be extinguished and the, uh, <coughs> the cell phone will be transferred in the ownership of C. Okay? So the shown and pago extinguishes okay, the existing obligation of debtor. Take note, in requisites yan, there must be an existing debt. Oh, di ba? Meron tayong existing debt. Debtor offers another thing or write as payment yung cell phone. There is difference between the obligation and thing offered. Di ba? Sabi niya, more or less 12K. Eh, yung utang niya, 10K. Agreement of extinguishment upon delivery or transfer. Ibig sabihin, yung agreement nila na kapag inaccept ni, ni creditor, mawawala na yung utang ni debtor. Then that is a the shown and pago transaction. That is not a contract of sale. Okay? So we'll continue next meeting, Article 1459. You read. Uh, most probably, ang tatawagin ko yung mga Hindi pa natawag, but, but just attend, okay? It will be it will be better if meron, kayong, meron pa rin kayong participation. Kung meron, <coughs> mas better for you, okay? Oh, nag-decide naman siya kanina si Patricia. Okay, uh, reminder lang, no? I'm not feeling well. Oh, nilalagnat ako. Inubo ako. Sinisipon. But I still attended this class because uh, I don't want na mag exam kayo na hindi nyo naman alam yung wala akong tinuro sa inyo exam nyo. So, pwede sana ako na ang makiusap sa inyo, no? Makiusap sa inyo na mag-attend naman kayo ng class ko. Sabihin nyo sa mga classmates nyo naman. Okay? If this will, uh, this will still happen next meeting na 9 pa rin. Hindi, actually, this is 8 kasi nadobre yung sa akin. Around 8 or 7 lang ang nag -a -a Then, I would suggest na I would uh, give up this class. Okay? If, if yun ang gusto ng buong klase. Okay, it's okay for me if yun ang gusto nyo na i-give up ko itong klase. <coughs> that is fine with me. Kasi I can see naman na uh, uh, Majority are absent, therefore majority doesn't like to attend this class. That's an implication. Actually, this is what we call boycott. Okay, ayaw, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ayaw kong magalit, ayaw kong kuhan. Pero you just give, don't give me reason. Okay, tinutulungan ko naman kayo eh. Tutulungan ko naman kayo na makapasa, kayo pa. Okay, kung yung last year nga, na sobrang sakit ng ulo ko, Ang sa akin lang, huwag nyo nang ulitin sa akin ngayon. Okay? If it's okay with you, <coughs> sabihin nyo sa kanila, sa mga absent, <coughs> na kung pwede, kung pwede lang pumasok naman. Kasi I will, uh, it would be impossible if lahat sila nasa isang lugar na pare-pareha sa nag-brown out. Diba yung 40 plus sa inyo, nasa isang lugar, pare-pareha sa nag-brown out. That's impossible. Okay, kung pwede lang, ako nang makiusap sa inyo. Okay? Sige, that's all. Uh, we'll have our quiz next meeting. Ah, yung sinasabi ko na departmentalized. Okay, you, you send me the schedule kung anong napag-usapan niya sa buong BISAC class. Sa buong BISAC set. Okay, lahat kayo. Para as one ang bigayan ng quiz. Okay? It will be a three-part quiz. So please... Ensure your data connection. 
Kung pwedeng mag-backup kayo, please ensure it. Okay, kung wala kayong tiwala sa connection nyo, ensure it na meron kayong ilaw or connection. Okay? Uh, kaya ko sinasabi ito in advance. No? So it will be a three-part quiz because we may not have another quiz kasi uh, mag-exam mag na sa in two weeks. Okay, so hopefully maka-attend kayo lahat, maka-quiz kayo lahat. May questions pa? Wala na. Please, makiusap ako if pwede lang, kausapin ng mga classmates. Okay? Okay ba? Yes, po, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oo. Kasi kung maulit ito, then I'll just, ano, I'll just leave the class next meeting and then I'll report that na nag uh, binoboycott ako ng class. Okay? So I hope this will never happen again. Okay? Uh, yung may mga justifications, tell them to tell it to me. Okay? Sige. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Thank you, po, you sir. sir. Thank you, po, Thank sir. Thank you, po, sir. Bye, po. Yes, welcome, po, sir. Okay. Bye, po. Okay. Bye, bye. Ito hindi ko ma-end.